good morning good afternoon and good evening to everyone who has joined us across all the corners of the world thank you for taking the time to explore the opportunities in the south core and e-commerce market together with setcom is in coupon marketplace well this is your shruti your host for the day and i currently lead the e uh, content and marketing wing at setcom is one of the leading multi channel e-commerce enablers and with me today i have ratnadeep from setcom is who will walk us through the know how and functioning of the integration solutions and also we have the most elegant and the charming personality with us today miss kelly from kuku marketplace now i'll tell you what's so special about her so she always reminds me of the famous kimchi from korea and of and all of my favorite movies so well we're not going to talk about my fascination for south korean movies instead we'll be focusing more on how you can set your footprints in this up and emerging e-commerce region uh, whether you are a merchant or uh, who's already selling in south korea like you're already based out of south korea or if you're someone who has their business set up in the us and wishes to expand their business in the south korean e-commerce market this webinar could be a perfect shot at getting started in selling on south korea's most popular marketplace along with reg regulating and managing your listings with set commerce so we'll also talk about you know for you to understand the opportunities associated with the south korean e-commerce market followed by kelly who will throw some uh, light on how to sell on mark coupon and how to get started what are the seller fees the commission rates like uh, she she'll actually give us some light that th this is no rocket science and it's just simple as sending a simple text message to your friend i guess that that's how it is easy it is to sell on coupon and we are also going to cover uh, how to literally like connect your e-commerce store with coupon marketplace so that you can regulate your listings your orders related notifications and everything in an automated manner followed by we'll also cover some cross border challenges and obviously how can you multi uh, muster your multi channel capabilities um, and at the end we shall attend some live questions uh, we can also we'll also have some polls in between to know your point of view on certain things and before i get started let me quickly introduce uh, set commerce for a better understanding of what we are and what we are known for out there so set commerce is one of the leading e-commerce marketplace platform and market uh, is a leading e-commerce and marketplace integrator whose vision is to build secure and uh, 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 create scalable integration uh, tools and technologies for online merchants uh, to help them uh, most uh, with, with the most of their multi channel capabilities we also have uh, help online marketplaces to create an optimized integration ecosystem for a smooth seller onboarding and streamlined product data flow and close collaboration with partners like coupon google meta walmart ebay and more so so far we have built over 50 the uh, sales channel tools for all uh, major e-commerce platforms including WooCommerce, Shopify, Magento, BigCommerce, Best Shop, OpenCart and many more. So here is a glimpse of our awards and accolades so far. We have ranked among the Lord's first 500 APAC companies for three times in a row. Other than that, we are also proud winners of Head on Shopping by Magento Innovations Lab and the rest is here to say for itself now uh in case you're thinking i am blabbering enough about site commerce so here i've brought some real time proofs to support our credibility in the e-commerce market you may uh, visit any of these uh, trusted platforms and check out what our clients are saying about us and yes let me put this across uh, that at set commerce we are known for our robust 24 cross 7 human support services so you can always uh, reach out to us at any point of time um, 
uh, we will come to this point later in the slides and before uh before i move uh, like let's do some talking about the south korean e-commerce market like this will be very brief because i'll have kelly uh go through this thing in detail so uh as for now, Korea is set to be the third largest e-commerce market by the year 2025 uh, with over 18.1 million active users and an estimated internet penetration rate of 97%. Korea definitely gives us the perfect opportunity to make the most of its e-commerce uh, e market. For the stats, South Korea, uh, Korean e-commerce revenue market marked around $4.5 billion in 2021 alone, out of which a total of 4% emerged from the US. So if you're sitting in US and you want to expand or you want to sell in the South Korean market, this has to be a go for that. Uh, I would now like to invite Kelly to help us better understand uh, with the selling and other related opportunities at Cooper. Over to you, Kelly. Thanks so much for that lovely introduction, Shruti. Uh, and thank you so much for organizing this wonderful webinar. Uh, as Shruti mentioned, uh, my name is Kelly and I'm the head of marketing at Coupang's Global Marketplace. Uh, if I could give a quick introduction to Coupang and uh, Korea, uh, as mentioned, Korea is the world's fourth largest e-commerce country, uh, which is a pretty sizable feat given our population size. And it's a testament to how much e-commerce is deeply embedded in the lives of Korean customers. Coupang is the largest e-commerce company in Korea and one of the largest e-commerce companies in Asia. So our mission uh, is to create a world in which customers ask, how did I ever live without Coupang? And we were founded in 2010, and considering that it's only 2022 now, and we are uh, the largest e-commerce company in Korea, I would say that we are making good progress in this mission. Uh, I know for a fact that uh, be even before I joined Coupang, uh, I was already a very loyal customer. So. Uh, they definitely had already converted me. So uh, one of Coupang's um, claims to fame is the amazing shopping experience. So something that's very important to our sellers, of course, is ensuring that they trust that they're signing up to a marketplace where customers have a great experience because, of course, without customers, there are no sales. And coupon customers enjoy the most innovative and convenient shopping experience uh, throughout Korea. We have the largest directly employed delivery fleet and we're very famous for our speed. Uh, coupon pioneered rocket delivery and one of our uh, emblems or logos is the coupon rocket. And so known for our speed, uh, our customers definitely uh, expect convenience and efficiency from our platform. And this is something that we strive to deliver every day. We also have the largest B2C logistics. Uh, an impressive figure is that 70% of the population live within seven miles from a coupon fulfillment center. Uh, if you ever visit Seoul, you'll notice that there are tons of coupon trucks whizzing around the city constantly. Uh, and that's another testament to how much we are now a key part of the lives of customers across Korea. We also have a vast selection of items. And this is thanks to our suppliers. Uh, and we hope that you'll be one after this webinar. Uh, we're very fortunate to have many uh, great suppliers, not just within Korea, but outside of Korea. Uh, our global suppliers and global sellers uh, provide top-notch products at very competitive prices. And this is one of the reasons our coupon customers return to our um, shopping app day after day. Uh, another very unique part of coupon is that we have uh, been very innovative in the eco-friendly department. 
So over 75% of our parcels and um, uh, and from our parcels, uh, cardboard boxes were removed. Uh, so this boxless uh, delivery is something for which Kupang is very famous. Um, with our deliver grocery delivery service, we actually have very nice, colourful, reusable bags. And this has been um, a key part of how we've been able to cut down uh, tons of styrofoam packaging. Uh, which has been, of course, a great con contribution to our eco-friendly initiative. Uh, another part of Kupang that is a uh, big advantage for our customers is the easy return factor. Uh, if, they, if the customer just taps a return app on uh, Kupang, then they can return the item basically uh, straight away. So uh, this slide shows why our customers choose Kupang. As I mentioned, we have a wide selection and uh, we have a great deal of uh, uh, members who are signed up to our Kupang WOW membership. And the WOW membership is sort of like Amazon Prime, basically. It costs about 4,900 Korean won a month, which is roughly... Uh, probably USD $3 right now, given the exchange rate. And for this, our members receive a lot of benefits, including uh, uh, next day dawn delivery for many products uh, for free. Um, and they also have access to a lot of other coupon services, uh, not just the commerce. Um, another part of why customers choose Kupang, as mentioned, is the convenient rocket delivery, um, as well as the rocket ecosystem and our customer obsession. Um, also, it's very easy to pay on Kupang, maybe sometimes too easy for some customers, such as myself, uh, which can be a bit dangerous. But um, this is yeah, another one of the reasons customers love Kupang. So South Korea is currently the third, uh, sorry, fourth largest e-commerce opportunity in the world. And by 2025, we estimate that it will be the third largest globally, uh, with, um, just behind China and the United States. This, as I mentioned, is a testament to how much e-commerce is a huge part of the lives of Korean customers. Uh, I'm not sure how familiar you are with Korean culture, but convenience and speed uh, are big factors in what Koreans look for in their shopping experience. And Koreans are also very experienced in terms of e-commerce. Uh, over 51% of our um, all shopping is done online, and this is over double the global average. Uh, as you can see here, um, the U.S. comprises the largest group of uh, the largest source of direct sales from overseas for Korean customers. And as you can see, we have seen year on year growth for uh, cross border e-commerce into the Korean market. Uh, and after the U.S., uh, China and the EU make up the most sizable portions of our direct purchases. Uh, but I think the key message to take away from here is that Korean e-commerce and uh, Korean cross-border e-commerce sales continue to grow. And so this is an opportunity for any global seller to seize. And of course, uh, being from Kupan, I would definitely assert that Kupan is the best marketplace to seize this opportunity. So what do Koreans buy from the US? Uh, the answer is a broad range of things, but as you can probably see from this graph, that food comprises the uh, lion's share of Korean purchases from the US. Now, food includes health supplements. As we know, the US is very famous for uh, supplement brands and uh, it's very reputable uh, certainly in Korea. Korea is a very health conscious country and therefore uh, Koreans always seek the best when it comes to uh, their nutrition. Um, so aside from health supplements this also includes protein powders and other uh, vegan food products as well. 
so Korean customers purchased over $4.1 billion worth of cross-border goods online in 2021. Uh, and this is this figure represents just uh, direct sales from overseas. So total e-commerce in Korea is much larger than this figure. Um, but I think this figure demonstrates that Koreans certainly have an appetite for global products. Uh, yeah. Next slide, I'll, please. I'll get in here, Kelly. So as, as just as when you mentioned about food, so we uh, are not talking about groceries and the fresh uh, vegetables and the fresh uh, groceries right so when it comes to food largely we're talking about um goods that are sold online from overseas so this would include uh products such as um health supplements as i mentioned uh yeah. confectionery uh a confectionery from the us is very popular and it would also include uh coffee and tea and other beverages so coffee capsules are one of the most popular products sold on Kupan and they're different um, mainstays when it comes to popular items uh, not just on Kupan but in the Korean e-commerce in general. Great, great, great. Yes, so uh, in Korea, uh, this is a slide demonstrating uh, the general landscape of marketing in Korea. As you can see, the total size of Korean advertising is very large at USD $11.2 billion. What this means is that there is a lot of marketing in Korea and that if you are selling to a Korean audience, that you would definitely um, it would definitely be recommended that you do uh, brand awareness marketing. Um, this is something that as the head of marketing for Kupang's global marketplace that I constantly encourage our sellers to do. Um, if you are selling a brand that is very reputable within Korea, you may not need to do as much awareness marketing. However, you will still need to market uh, your shop on Kupang. And so uh, if we take a more detailed look at this graph uh, or at this chart, you can see that online marketing makes up over 50% of all advertising in Korea. So this aligns with our figures for the popularity of uh, online transactions and online shopping uh, in the Korean, in the Korean, uh, country, in Korea as a country. Um, and, oh, sorry, can we go back to the previous slide with a marketing graph? Yes. And as you can see, there are several uh, popular marketing channels in Korea. Um, when it comes to social media, Koreans uh, do use the usual uh, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. But when it comes to messaging, we use an app called Kakao. Uh, Kakao has a very high penetration rate in Korea. You could see it as virtually almost 100% penetration. It would be almost, it would be pretty difficult to survive in Korea, in all honesty, without cacao. So cacao is a very uh, popular option when it comes to marketing your products. Uh, Naver is the dominant search portal in Korea. 70.2% uh, of searches in Korea are conducted through Naver. Uh, now, this figure does look a little different when we uh, look at, for example, uh, more um, tech-related searches, then Google search becomes a little more popular. But when we look at lifestyle-related searches, uh, Naver is definitely the go-to for most Korean customers. Uh, here we can see that Kupang has two business models. So we have retail and marketplace. Um, and with retail, we're, uh, Kupang is purchasing directly from the supplier. And with marketplace, the supplier would be shipping directly to the customer. And the great thing about marketplace is that it offers control of all aspects of business operations. Um, and it also allows us to offer a large variety of selection for our customers. So uh, 
this is the space in which um, I look after. So if you have any questions about Marketplace, please feel free to ask at the end of the webinar. So selling on Coupon Marketplace, uh, now we're going to move on to the benefits of um, yeah, what benefits we offer to our sellers. So um, the number one advantage of selling with Coupang Marketplace is that we offer um, a huge customer base. You would have access to uh, approximately 18 million customers across Korea. And considering uh, Korea's population is 52 million at the moment, uh, this is a sizable portion of the purchasing population. As you can see, we are the number one shopping app uh, in Korea, and this is across all age groups. Therefore, whatever you're selling, um, chances are that uh, Coupon Marketplace is the best opportunity for you to get awareness among uh, your customer base in Korea. Uh, another reason Coupon Marketplace is a great option for sellers is that we offer a great partner network. Uh, selling to a new marketplace can be a little daunting for some new sellers. Uh, even if you have experience cross-border selling, you may think, well, I don't speak Korean or I've never been to Korea and I don't know a lot about selling into this country. Uh, if you're in that situation, uh, you don't need to worry because we have an extensive network of partners who can help you sell, deliver and market your products in Korea. All you have to do is go to our service provider network page uh, and you can find the service that you need uh, for the country that you need it in. Uh, another reason that Coupang is a great choice is that we offer seamless API integration. Uh, this is something I'm sure Shruti can speak to later in, in Latin, uh, who has been uh, integral to uh, the integration of said commerce into uh, Coupang Marketplace. And finally, we offer one-to-one -one global support. So a great uh, aspect of Coupang is that we have a global outlook. Last year, we IPO'd on the stock exchange We have multilingual seller support at Coupon, and so even if you don't speak Korean, uh, this is not an issue. If you want to uh, get a consultation, our seller support team and our senior account managers all speak English as well, and our uh, inter seller interface wing is also in English. So this slide shows a quick overview of some uh, US items that are popular on Coupon. Uh, so there are some broad categories that tend to do very well on Coupon. Uh, one of those is health and wellness. As I mentioned, Koreans are very preoccupied with staying healthy. And so uh, health supplements are always very popular on uh, coupons, on the coupon shopping app. And US brands are some of the most reputable among those, including Thorn Research, uh, Now Foods, uh, Solga, Life Extension, Jaro, et cetera. Uh, food and beverages, as you could see earlier in the uh, graph showing cross-border sales, uh, food and beverages is also another popular category. So confectionery and uh, Starbucks coffee capsules are also popular items on Coupon. And consumer electronics is another popular category. Uh, Koreans are very wired and they are very into their gadgets. So uh, some of the most search searched items on Coupon include AirPods, Apple Watches, iPads, iPhones, uh, with the current um, arrival of the Apple, the iPhone 14. The uh, Apple products are currently very, very popular on Coupang's top search terms. So uh, this is some, it's also important to stay abreast of trends if you're selling uh, on Coupang. Uh, thankfully, we also send out trend reports. So hopefully this helps our sellers in terms of having some foresight into what they can sell and what sells well on Coupang. Uh, what can I sell on Coupang? Well, 
I think an easier question would be, what can't I sell on Coupang? So here is a list of items that you that are restricted on Coupang. Uh, I can provide a link to this later on for a more comprehensive list. Uh, but some of the broader categories include alcohol, cigarettes, um, and some medical items uh, and uh, other prohibited products. Uh, KC certification or Korea certification. Uh, this is a product certification and it basically uh, ensures the conformity of products to Korean safety standards. Coupang is committed to providing a reliable and safe environment for customers to shop on. So it is very important that sellers abide by uh, all certification rules. Uh, if you have any questions about this, certainly the Coupang seller support can provide some initial guidance and point you in the direction of resources. Now, children's products, electrical appliances, and some other consumer products generally require KC or Korea certification. So if you have any uh, detailed questions regarding this, please don't hesitate to reach out to me after the webinar. Uh, the service provider network. As I mentioned earlier, if you are new to selling um, not just on Coupang, but to Korea, this is a great resource for you to start with. Uh, whether you need help with translation or logistics, um, our service provider network can hook you up with you, the partner that you need. Um, so said Commerce is featured here as one of our uh, trusted partners. And uh, if you need uh, any resources in other categories, you can also find it on this particular link. The QR code is featured on this slide, as you can see, or you can access it very easily from our Global Sellers website. So selling on Coupang is easy. Uh, basically, if you sign up for an account, it is free. So there is no sign up fee at all. Um, and uh, you can also um, see here that there are only a couple documents that are required in order to sign up to Coupang. So you just need your business license, your proof of identification, a bank letter, and a proof of business ownership. Now, the great thing about Coupang as well is that you don't need a um, Korean bank account and you don't need a Korean business license. So your local business license and local bank uh, statements will suffice. And usually it takes about up to a week for your seller uh, registration to go through. Uh, for commission rates, we can provide you with a link to the various sales commission rates depending on the product category. Now, once your uh, registration is approved, you can then start listing your products and you're basically ready to sell. Uh, of course, you'll also provide be provided with a lot of uh, support and a welcome pack to make sure that you're not uh, left alone and um, clueless. So uh, we have some very successful sellers here on Coupang who have uh, seen their sales skyrocket. Now, one seller with whom I'm very close to is our friend uh, Alicia Ko, who's featured here. She's a seller based in uh, California, and she's seen her American dream come true through selling to Korea on Coupang. Now, initially, she was a reseller selling other uh, health supplement brands, but thanks to Coupang's huge customer base, she was able to achieve the sales and learnings that were enabled her to launch her own health supplement brand called Key Supplement on Coupang earlier this year in May. Uh, and through her customer feedback loop, she's been able to learn what's popular uh, among customers in Korea. And she's been able to tailor her products depending on customer preferences. And so it's been a huge success. Uh, next slide, please. 
So uh, yeah, that's uh, wrapping up the, my presentation. And uh, if you have any questions, yeah, please feel free to let me know. Thanks, Shruti. Definitely, yes. Uh, thank you for walking us through the best practices of on uh, coupon and also about South Korean marketplace. So if there's any query that you have, please uh, drop in an email or reach out to coupon. Uh, and we have Kelly and her team to help us with uh, with everything that, that can be a possible way for you. Yeah. So uh, now I'll take the opportunity to deep dive into the multi-channel capabilities and how can you grow your business with uh, uh, set commerce robust su uh, suite of integration. Let's do this. Yeah. Okay. Um, so let's get started. First things first, on how can you scale your e-commerce operations the very multi-channel way? So to begin with, we know the world of retail has seen a massive shift in the last few years, which has definitely led to the rise of multi-channel retail. While we can see traditional retailing has a more extended supply chain, it also suffers setbacks during store closures, such as lockdowns, not to say something that we all of us uh, witnessed in the past one, one and a half years. Also, uh, traditional retail uh, format does clearly lack uh, direct communication and direct connection with your end customers on the other hand the, the direct to con, uh, cust, consumer or the d2c model does have the shorter supply chain making it easy for retailers to reach the end customers directly and create cordial relationships while maintaining the brand loyalty at the same time but what if you want to aim at the bigger fish here is when multi-channel retail comes into the picture opening tremendous benefits for merchants of all sizes. Now, before we go any further, let me quickly cover what multi-channel retail or multi-channel selling is all about. So it's very, very simple. The practice of selling on multiple channels at the same time is termed as multi-channel selling. And now today with the advent of marketplaces, social commerce, uh, the opportunity to sell on websites and so many other digital options. Multi-channel selling opens tremendous benefits for merchants of all sizes. The best part is you can literally sell from anywhere or any part of the world. So that's what we are talking about today. Let's say you're sitting in the US and you want to sell in South Korea. So how can you manage and how can you regulate each and everything? That's what we are covering uh, in the slides today and not to go any further just look at me i'm a, i'm such a big fan of online shopping and given the comfort i'm not sure if i'm switching to physical stores anytime soon so all in all the wide concept of multi-channel selling is about being present on the right platforms at the very right time now getting your business across multiple platforms not only uh, flocks a larger volume of traffic to your products but uh, it also increases uh, general uh, uh, the, the brand awareness among the ge uh, general consumers and as per the data that we were able to collect 91 percent of customers say that they, uh, they start their shopping journeys directly on online marketplaces and obviously because marketplaces like coupon gives you credibility and the trust to buy your products from that like i'm not going to uh, buy my apple phone from some xyz website so for that i'm going to look for a brand and that's what coupon is so uh we also uh got to know certain facts which uh which is focus that selling on multi-channel or multi-channel retailing simply can bring your products it, it does bring your products uh, ahead of more and more customers and not only that but it will uh, drive around 86 percent of the sales growth in the next five years so well that's not to say that multi-channel selling doesn't come with challenges it does some of the initial problems may arise with the 
changes and emergence of new platforms you might not be very well versed with how a particular marketplace works or managing cross platform selling and shipping operations let's say you have you you are managing you're already managing your orders on your native e-commerce store and then you now you need to take care of your orders on the marketplaces you're selling so it gets really messy at times again we are going to cover it all here so it becomes a breeze it becomes a smooth process for you now also no synchronization between products or orders between between the channels that you're selling on another a few of other challenges become the pricing factors and inconsistency lack of support and expertise in managing everything at once however however getting impatient is not the right thing for merchants wanting to scale through uh, multi-channel selling and who want to set their footprints on on marketplaces so well thankfully at at site commerce as marketplace and e-commerce platform integrators we help merchants leverage our robust suit of integration solutions helping them syndicate and manage selling from one to many marketplaces so in a nutshell i'll give you the big picture what we basically do is we are a set of integration solutions basically act as a bridge between your native e-commerce store and the marketplace you're selling on so even there's a slightest of update you get automatically notified at your e-commerce uh, on, on central dashboard so that you are uh, well informed about everything so right when you join businesses with us you are assigned a dedicated account manager who helps you from the very scratch with the initial onboarding to help you select inventories to list at uh, the right place i'll have uh, rapidly to uh, those sections so our integration solutions also helps you adapt easily by enabling you, your ma uh, you to manage orders across multiple platforms through a set centralized dashboard as i i have been mentioning and uh, as for the next i uh, ratandeep over to you okay thanks Shruti for that presentation. So today I will talk about the app that is created by Setcommerce uh, in order to create, in order to integrate sellers, e-commerce stores, and coupon marketplace. Uh, the reason behind that is just to uh, provide the best experience to seller uh, so that he can just, uh, just sell uh, without any hesitation and managing managing multiple platforms and uh, platforms like. Uh, going back and forth, switching back to multiple platforms. So for that, we have just created this app, which integrates the e-commerce website and the coupon marketplace so that the seller can manage his products and listings through a central dashboard instead of managing market multiple platforms. So there's uh, with a few little steps, how you can do that. It's not a big deal. So uh, Shruti, if we can move to another slide. Yeah. So initially, uh, uh, with a single click authorization, a seller can connect his e-commerce website to the coupon marketplace. Like he'll need to just provide certain details, and with a single click, the store, the coupon store, will be connected with his e-commerce website. And that's just about it. So related to connection, that's all about it. So Shruti, we can move to the next slide as well. Yeah, so here's the most important feature of the app, which enables sellers to manage his inventory through a single dashboard, instead of worrying about uh, manually updating the inventory levels on all the platforms he's selling. So in order to do that, once the coupon account is connected with the app, he don't need to worry about the inventory management. Each and everything is automated through this app, let's say, there's a change in the inventory levels in the e-commerce website. At the same time, the e-commerce, oh, sorry, the inventory levels will be automatically updated on coupon marketplace. And the another situation that can happen is, let's say there's a sale on coupon marketplace. In that case, also our app manages the inventory level on both the platforms. So in this case, seller won't be, uh, seller won't have any issue in managing the inventory levels, and uh, they will also do not have the situation of overselling or underselling through this app. So yeah, should be next slide. Yeah, and again, another feature of this app uh, is the order management through 
which seller can manage all his e-commerce or coupon orders through a centralized platform okay in this case again seller won't be seller won't need to go on the coupon marketplace in order to process the order one by one he can just use this set commerce app in order to manage each and everything related to order let's say the order updates the shipment the tracking information and all that so if i can have the freedom to manage all the orders and products through this app Shruti, yeah. the bulk product sync feature is the best feature that we have provided because in order to create a product on coupon it takes a lot of time to create a product one by one let's say if i want to create a product it will take at least five to ten minutes in order to create a one product but through this app seller can create multiple products within a single with a single click let's say he can just upload 100 of products uh, within a minute from the e-commerce website to the coupon marketplace without any uh, hesitation so that will help a lot like that this app will help sellers in order to automate their listings in a few seconds yes yeah, okay great um uh, also a most common query that comes in or uh, how does the pricing structure of the integration look like yes yeah uh see uh, there are certain questions that seller have like what if they want to manage different pricing on the e-commerce e platform and coupon marketplace yes for that we do have provided certain rules so that seller can add let's say they want to have a different pricing on the e-commerce store and coupon so they can set a rule like if they want to increase a fixed amount of uh, price in the actual price of the e-commerce store or they can increase the price through a percentage all right um uh, thank you for the brief uh, uh Ratandeep. so uh here's a quick recap of uh, the integration solution that we've been discussing so far so uh, it does provide end-to-end -end automation provide uh, gives you the uh, uh, opportunity to seamlessly connect across coupon marketplace and your e-commerce store it could be based on woocommerce shopify magento or any xyz mark uh, e-commerce platform for that matter also uh just one thing to say is uh no matter the time of the the, the time of the day we're there for you 24 cross 7 if, if even if it's a national holiday or or anything like our our dedicated uh team is there to uh listen to you and help you with instant solution right at the moment and uh yeah so we we have uh human support here and that's the usp of said comments something that we are known for and for any further queries you can always reach out to us at woocommerce at the rate and that, that uh, that's it from our end thank you for joining in and so we can uh take the q and a's and uh, before that i would just like to jump into you know like uh, jump in this question to kelly like what how how does the commission rate for the uh, for the categories look like like let's say i'm uh, i i want to sell apparels online or or something in the fashion category so how do i know for the commission rates Yeah. Sure. So uh, we do have uh, different sales commission rates depending uh, on the product category. So um, yeah, it, it does depend on the category that you're selling. Uh, and I can just share with you here, um, what that generally looks like. One moment, please. Uh, Shruti, will I be able to share my screen on here or? Uh, I, uh, can you, can you just uh, see this uh, share screen thing over there? If you are in, I guess you should be able to. Um, uh, yeah, I think I can. It's not really looking about okay um, so maybe it's it's not uh, available but 
in general, so our commission rates can be anything between, let's say, 4.5% and go up to roughly 10.8% uh, or 11%. So it depends on what product category that you're selling. Um, and uh, just regarding apples, though, uh, because those are perishable items, um, if you're selling an actual fruit apple, uh, yeah, that might be a little bit more difficult through the coupon marketplace model. Uh, Apple as the brand is great, though. Yeah, <laughs> definitely. And that's going to bring in tremendous conversions for your uh, for your uh, store. And, and that, that's yes, going that's to right. Up. Our Apple products, um, particularly iPhones and AirPods and iPads, are very very popular. So uh, this is an out of box question. So, how, what are uh, Coupon's plan in expanding into India? Uh, so, it, as I mentioned, Coupon is a very global company, and so um, you know our goal is to wow the customer constantly and to create a world where customers wonder, "How did I ever live without Coupon?" So, I would like to think that we have you know plans to bring that to as many customers as uh, as possible however for the present moment that um service is limited to korea and we are trying to provide our korean customers with the best service uh, possible however of course uh, we would love to have more uh, sellers from india selling uh, indian products on coupon so we're sure that would be a wonderful introduction as we could definitely use some more of those